Research is always challenging, but the most challenging research which you can do, which can get you maximum money, is disease biology. Doing research on HIV, HMPV, or cancer, or anti-aging, any type of disease, it has always been challenging for any and every researcher. What if we ask this question, which research is good? Is it a dry lab research in disease biology or the wet lab research in disease biology? Let's find out in today's video. To start with, disease biology is challenging and the wet lab side of disease biology has always been done, right? There's no doubt about it. But if I have to say that in today's scenario, if you want to get into disease biology wet lab research, it is going to be very challenging. The companies spend billions of dollars into this and they already have so many scientists. So for you as a beginner, if you want to get into disease biology, you want to start working in wet lab, it's going to be very challenging. Probably you will struggle for 10 years to get one good high paying job. Now, compare that with the dry lab. Dry lab is also been there for the last 25 years. Dry lab was also there. But now with the disruption of AI, dry lab bioinformatics research is booming. And whether it is viral diseases, vaccine biology, or anything which is remotely related also with a disease is being disrupted today with the help of AI and bioinformatics. So that is why today every and any company in biotech is trying to get into implementation of AI ML in disease biology or any, any of the research which is remotely associated with disease biology also. So having said that, today as we speak, you do have bioinformaticians, you have senior bioinformaticians available in the market, but you don't have bioinformaticians who know artificial intelligence, machine learning. If the market is already saturated, you cannot get in, but this market has not even formed right now, it's in the formative phase. So if you get into this dry lab research, using bioinformatics and artificial intelligence machine learning, you can change the world of research in disease biology. Now, coming to which all companies are hiring, there are numerous companies in US, Europe, India. More details I will try to give in the description also. So, there are various companies which are hiring for bioinformaticians who are also having experience in AI ML. And the best part is we are confident that we will be able to place you in these companies so you can take our artificial intelligence and machine learning training program. It will be a 30 days of internship followed by project with our Swedish partner. You'll be working on disease biology based research using AIML, analyzing the genomic data of various diseases, various viral vectors and creating algorithms which can actually not just prevent but predict and also help us understand how these diseases happen and how can we stop it from happening or spreading. And that is why I will urge you to enroll into our artificial intelligence and machine learning internship in biology, in bioinformatics. Now coming back to the topic which we have, which is better for your growth, career growth? Wet lab is already saturated, it is very difficult to get in, but using AIML you can easily get into dry lab. And then all these new age companies will be hiring you. Now the best part of working in a new age company is it is not like the usual old style biotech company. These new age companies gives you an opportunity to work alongside the chief scientific officer. So your career growth will be faster, right? So that is why I'm insisting, look at research in antimicrobial resistance, cancer biology, or any kind of uh, research which is related to disease biology. In dry lab, it is going to bring you a lot of privileges, perks and incentives apart from of course a very high salary job. So what are you waiting for? Check out the details in the first comment below in the description also I have mentioned and go ahead and start your AIML in biology career and I'm sure once you have done that you will never regret it. All the best.